Hey what's up and welcome back this is the program geek and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to change your default boring and lazy program logo and text that comes on every one of your calculation sheets by default to your very own customized and amazing logo which will make you look more professional. So without wasting too much time let's get right into the video. Okay. So like I said in the introduction today, we need to change your boring logo to something that is nice and more professional so that wherever you take it, people will say, okay, this guy is professional. He just did not throw his calculations into Procon and bring them to us. Okay, so what you need to do is first things first, please hit the subscribe button. Also leave a like and comment and we will get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that we need to understand is obviously I've opened my Procon. And remember, we are using Procon in demo, right? Because we don't want Procon to sue us. Okay, so we are good to go. So in the first thing that you need to do once you have a Procon and you want to change it from the default, which is this one that you have right now, to something that is customized and professional like what you have, right? The first thing you need to do is go to your documents and go to local disk C. Well, in local disk C, what you need to do is then go to the default Procon folder and then go to user and this is where we want to start. So, once you are in the default user folder in the Procon folder, that is local disk C, Procon and user, what you want to do is view and then group everything by type, right? And just make sure that you start off with the alphabetical order. Now, once you group everything by type, the next thing that you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to go to where it says PTF files. So in, in this case, I had already customized my own PTF files. That, that is why you see there's Procon Geek and Procon Geek 2. But then once you want to see that there will always be a default.ptf in your own folder. Now, the first thing that you're going to do is you want to copy this default PTF file. So just copy and then control V to paste it. And then you want to change it to whatever you want to do to be. And in this case, we're just going to change it to, let's just put caps to subscriber. Yes, just put it to subscriber and then you're good to go. Then the next thing that you would want to do is to make sure that you have your own logo in this user folder. So if you want to check what your logo is, if you go to where it says BMP. So in this case, I have three BMP files, but in your own folder, there will be one, which is the default Procon.BMP file which is let's just view it this is the default Procon logo that you see on every other calc sheet but in this case i already have my own which is the Procon geek bmp file and the subscriber bmp file so i made this using illustrator so if you want i can show you how to use illustrator and come up with your own bmp files but there are two things that you need to do the first thing is you need to go to the ptf files go to default copy it then create your own uh, ptf file rename it whatever you want then you also need to copy whatever logo or BMP logo that you have and bring it where you have the default Procon BMP file. Once you do those two things, the next thing is you just need to go to the Procon software and get started. Okay, once back in Procon, uh, since you now have your default subscriber PTF or default copy, and also you have your logo in the BMP file in the same folder, next thing you want to do is go to page setup. Now in page setup, what you want to do is it tells you the default template file that it is using is if you check at the bottom right there, it's C Procon user default.pdf. But now what we want to do is select a different template file. We're going to select template file. Then once we do that, we want to go to where we just created. We just created the subscriber PTF file. And remember, we just copied the default PTF file and just renamed it to subscriber. So we're going to open it. And now if you see it says C Procon user subscriber.ptf. But you will see if you zoom in, let's just zoom in, the logo is still the same. This is because we just copied the file and we haven't changed anything. So to change this, what we need to do, the next thing is click on edit template file. And once you do that, the Procon editor is going to come up and this is where you start changing things. So the first thing you want to change, obviously, let's go to my PDF viewer. If you can see the default, you want to change where it says Procon to something that you want. In this case, I changed mine to Procon Geek. So what you're going to do is go back to the Procon editor. So just go back to your folder and see this is the name for the default BMP file, but we want to change it to the subscriber.bmp file. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Procon editor. Go to where it says Procon, remove everything, and you just want to type in subscriber, 
and remember it's case sensitive so type it as it is as how you saved your file in this case we saved ours as subscriber so we're just going to save it as subscribe so once we, that is done this would have changed uh this part of the procon or the logo the next thing we need to take care of is the software consultants internet and email so to do that all you have to do in this case i already changed mine to structural consultants youtube and program geek but to change that to your own thing what you need to do is scroll down to where you say software consultants ptyltd this is still the same folder remember we are just editing the subscriber.ptf so in the subscriber ptf what you need to do is just scroll down in this case we want to change it from software consultants and we're going to save it at civil consultants private limited and for internet most of you don't have internet um websites i mean so you're going to change it to the phone and in this case we just want to remove everything there and just say 263-007-007 and say 007 and as for the email obviously all of you have an email so we're just going to change this to jamesmond at 007.com now once you do this the next thing that you want to do is just go to file click on save and once that is done the next thing you just want to do is uh, remove or close the program edit and just say close and okay so this is my default pdf please this is with the default pdf let's go back to program uh, just remember the program editor opens on a different page as from the program but as you can see as you can check it out now when we're back in program once we saved our file everything has changed and as you can see it already tells us subscriber civil consultants phone 263007 but let's see this much more clearly so what you're going to do is you're going to say the page setup box just click on ok right and just scroll down and then scroll up and as you can see the default logo has changed now instead of having it say procon there we now have a saying subscriber.pg then civil consultants private limited and the phone is now 263-007-007-007 and the email is jamesbond at 007.com okay so that's it that wraps up the video for today but please i have one special request before you go please subscribe and the other one is please 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 can you try and watch my videos on youtube okay anyways you know what you can definitely download the videos but please please at least watch the videos on one tab or just open a tab a separate tab and let the videos play till the very end please i'm just be i'm begging you yes you can download them vous pouvez télécharger les vidéos mais s'il vous plaît laissez la vidéo jusqu'à la tout fin eh? Laissez la vidéo joue jusqu'à la tout fin. Please, just let the video play to the very end. I had to plead in French for you, but please, 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 laissez la vidéo joue jusqu'à la tout fin. So, until next time, please subscribe. Let the videos play to the very end. Yes, you can download them for keep sake, but please, just let the video play to the very end. Laissez la vidéo joue jusqu'à la tout fin. Until next time, see you.